Hi everybody, I'm Bridget Rates, the owner of Whispering Stones and Solstice, and today we're having a crystal conversation with my friend Melanie. Hi everyone. Um, to talk about healing crystal grids. Mm -hmm. So with all of the stuff going on around the holidays, it's really easy to start feeling under the weather. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot of astrological changes, there's just a lot of weather change. Um, and so it seemed to me that as we continue our conversations on crystal grids, that healing was the next logical one. I like that. We have a lot of overwhelm this time of year. We do. We have a lot of overwhelm. We have a lot of things, extra things that we need to do, which I think can kind of wear down our Managing immunity. other people. <laughs> should we even, should we even be doing that? <laughs> <laughs> well, there are healthy boundaries. <laughs> There's all of that. There's all of that and more. Yes. So what do you think about healing grids? I think healing grids are a powerful reminder. Um, I would say that you don't really need a grid for healing. You don't really need anything for healing. You have everything you need inside your mind, your body, and your spirit to heal yourself. Um, but I think the healing grid serves as a very powerful reminder of that intention. And I think coupling that with the energies of the stones I think that really can matter, and I think that we need that extra help sometimes. So I think that's where this comes into play, and I think it's important. I do too. Um, obviously, I could give you the full medical disclaimer that Melanie and I are not your doctor, nor do we tell you not to see Nor do we want sort. to be. <laughs> <laughs> nor are we qualified no, to be. No. <laughs> but we're just basically saying that in addition to seeking the proper yes. medical care through either conventional or alternative sources, mm -hmm. this is something that we can do for ourselves. Yes. Um, and I agree with you. I think um, if you are at a higher vibrational setting, so to speak, um, and you are intentionally making choices that you think are good for you, and you're doing everything that you possibly can, you have a better shot. Absolutely. You know? And we need all the better shots we can get. We definitely do. So um, It's hard out there. It is hard out there, especially at the holidays, and I think especially for women. And anybody really in the retail industry, I'm just going to give a shout out to or all of you. Or caretakers, or parents, or teachers, or healthcare professionals. Or students having exams towards the Ooh, end of the year. Who we left year. out. I don't know. Mothers, It's fathers. hard for everyone. Yes. Um, but I really do think that, um, you know, keeping your vibration high. Is key. Um, and really employing all of the, um, all of the tactics and the, the methodologies that so you can So that's how help. stones can help. So let's talk about these mm -hmm. stones that you chose. Well, this is my own personal healing grid. Look at that. So I, you know, sometimes I'll repeat stones over and over. Sometimes I'll, um, I'll just do a, a wide collection. So when I thought about healings, one of the things that I wanted to do, and just, just for your information, it's a cake stand with a trivet. I love that. So, I mean, you literally I can find your house. anything yes. right at your house. Yes. Um, and I have added some really interesting stones. The center stone is a really gorgeous six-sided um, clear quartz piece that actually has pyrite oh. inclusions. Now, pyrite is one of those warm, mm -hmm. grounding, um, very healing type of stones. So Absolutely. luckily I found a tower that had both of that, the clear mm -hmm. quartz with the pyrite. But I've also got a really gorgeous piece of garnerite, which is like a hug from the universe. Sure is. I have a really unusual aquamarine heart, which is like Stepping into a cool lake, it's very calming and healing and anti-inflammatory. Good choice. I, I love that one. I've yes. also got a piece of hulandite mm -hmm. um, that's got some stillbite and scolocyte in it, and that is really to raise the vibration. And help us do that, because that can be the hard part. It can be, especially when you're getting, you're overwhelmed, mm -hmm. you know, you're trying to stay well, you're going from this to that to yeah. this. It can be kind of discouraging to have that tickle in your throat or not feel up to par. Mm -hmm. And this is all about keeping your spirits high, keeping your vibration high, because that allows you to filter out a lot of things before they ever get to you. And that's how healing happens. That's how healing happens. I've also got this gorgeous um, that fluorite is one of my heart. Personal favorites. Look at Mine that rainbow. Too. In the Isn't of that. it beautiful? I've got this heal this piece of fluoride, and fluoride is very intentional. Mm -hmm. It's very good for clarity and it's very detoxifying. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we get around all the extra sweets and the alcohol oh, goodness and all chocolate the is a problem <laughs> chocolate's always well, a help problem. Me with chocolate. <laughs> yes this will help you with chocolate okay. but it's a really good one to have um, around you I've also got some malachite which is very heart friendly protecting I've got some playful green adventuring reminding you not to take everything so seriously oh, goodness, right the truth. labradorite very psychically protective mm -hmm. and then there's also some Lemurian aquatine calcite which is um, kind of like 
laying on the top of a beautiful ocean. It's very calming and soothing. But my favorite thing on this grid are four pieces of seraphonite, which is a healing stone from Russia. It's very difficult to get right now. So I had to pull out of my personal collection to have four, but basically for me, that represents the directions. I, I believe I'm wearing that now. It is a, a, a big <clears throat> help during this time. Uh -huh. It is. So, but for those people that don't have a cake stand sitting around yeah. and, I, and I'm blessed to have tons of stone around me, right. we did create two other grids. Um, one of them is a Celtic star and I have a lot of Celtic ancestry. So this one was really fun for me, but what I was trying to do was, was match the higher vibration with the healing at the same time. Look at all that prenite and fluorite. That is so spectacular. And I, well, I'll tell you what I really love about prenite. Prenite mm -hmm. marries the heart and the mind. And I think sometimes, you know, the, the holidays bring in a lot of sentimentality. Mm -hmm. Overthinking. Overthinking and, mm -hmm. and wanting everyone to be happy, happy through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But it's also a time when we remember maybe people that aren't there mm -hmm. yeah. this year. There's That's a lot right. of grief after the last several years of COVID and, and other things. Changes. It, lots changes, changes. Lots of changes. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's really good to support your heart, either through Malachite or Prenite. Give yourself um, some grace. Give yourself some grace and some understanding because mm -hmm. the holidays can be really fun and, and energizing and inspiring. And they can also be somewhat sad and they maybe a little be. melancholy as they well, right? Mm -hmm. um, so on this grid, we've got the, the Prenite, we've got the Fluorite, we've got clear quartz to mm -hmm. bring all the other stones together. Mm -hmm. And then the center is a really interesting piece that has some Amazonite and some that adventuring. Is a beautiful piece. Now, what do you love about Amazonite? It's very comforting and soft. It is. Um, it has a little little power of you can do it. Just keep going. I love that. Mm -hmm. And I also think for me, at least, Amazonite is uh, a stone that help, reminds you to keep healthy boundaries. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the, so from a caregiver perspective, and all of us, I think, amp that quality during the holidays, because you, if you're not looking out just for family, you're looking out for friends, you're looking, you, you know, you, there's just so much going there's on, so right? There's so much. That's right. Um, it's, it's a really good stone to remind you to practice self-care. Mm -hmm. So in addition to these grids and meditating with these stones, mm -hmm. uh, you know, one of the things that I like to do at, at the holidays is kind of flip the script, maybe do things a little differently than before I like that. to keep things fresh. What do you like to do? Um, I like to try to, to try to carve out some me time. That's good. And for me as a creative, I'm an Aries, but got a lot of creative fire energy. If I can just carve out an hour, maybe to start a little creative project, I've been like sitting, it's been sitting on the sideline for a long time. Or that makes you happy. It does. It makes me so happy. One day on a Christmas where we're having a bunch of people over, I got up early and I planted some pansies in a pot because That's I so love, fun. I know it's so, so bizarre. Yeah. You know, the first thing to do on Christmas, but it was nice to get out there with the dirt in my hands, doing something I loved when it was quiet. Quiet. Yes. It wasn't a lot of Honoring hustle and you bustle. For a minute. It was. You. It got, let me do something that I love. So I think mm -hmm. trying to find that those moments makes it easier to give back. It does absolutely it makes it easier to give back. But it's yeah. also it gives you that little spark mm -hmm. because the holidays can be so disruptive in a good way. Yeah. Um, but they can be very disruptive. That it's nice mm -hmm. to have some normality. Yes. You know, and maybe for me, I got to get away from other people a little bit. Yeah, because it can be draining, so that gives you some energy back. It does. Mm -hmm. definitely gives you some energy yeah. back. So mm -hmm. that's that's kind of what we're what thinking. What else have you got over there? Oh, I've got one more, and this one was actually just a heart trivet that I found. Oh, that's pretty. I found this at TJ Maxx. I think it was like $6. I love that. And we added some really interesting, we've got the malachite that we've talked about, clear quartz, of course, but tree agate. And tree agate to me is a really great stone for travel. So mm -hmm. one of the things I think we do in the holidays is we get out and do more things in crowds. Mm -hmm. Tree agate, malachite? Malachite, both mm -hmm. great for travel. So yeah. if you're having to leave your home to go to some relatives or to friends or, mm -hmm. or they're coming to you or even just you're going to the botanical garden lights, yeah. you know, you're out and about with a bunch of other people mm -hmm. who bring their own energy together. Um, I love those because I think it's very easy as empaths to suck up other people's energy like a vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. So I think that was very, that's very protective. Absolutely. Tree agate. Oh yeah. Tree agate. Love tree agate. And then the center stone is a really interesting piece of dendritic chrysocolla. Mm -hmm. Now chrysocolla to me so is go with the flow and yes. let go stone. Yes. So it's, it's very easy during the holidays to get frustrated and there's a lot more traffic and there's all this stuff going on. I think if you can let Just, as much go that's right. as you can and try to stay in the moment that and focus with healing. 
That yes, it does. Going. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe not be in the past, not be projecting into the future, but really try to stay in the moment. moment. Mm -hmm. I think that helps. Staying in the moment. So helpful. That's the key. <laughs> That's the key. That's really the, the That's bottom line. So, yes. Yeah. Stay in the moment yeah. and try to stay healthy. See yourself as healthy. Yes. You know, I would never set an intention that said, I am hoping to be or no. I'm dreaming of. It would be, I am healthy, I am resilient, I am aligned, body, mind, and spirit. I think if you are sick and you are trying to heal yourself from something serious, mm -hmm. um, I think it's important to not focus so much on that and to definitely live in the moment. And your body will, it will rise. It'll respond mm -hmm. to that. I think we become our own story. Mm -hmm. So... Um, you know, just doing your best, the gratitude, we haven't talked about gratitude, but gratitude oh, bears a, a huge piece in healing, I yeah, think. Yeah. Um, because it's at such a high vibration, gratitude is, that it can't help but pull other areas up with it. That's right. Yep. That's right. So if you're struggling with something, try Healing Grid. Reach out to us. Reach out to your friends. You're not alone. Yes. Never alone. Um, yeah. Um, and just know that you definitely aren't alone in the holiday mayhem. So snuggle up with your favorite stone. It's not, uh, coffee stones. I coffee think we stones. need to do the next one on our coffee stones. That sounds great. I think we're just going to ask everybody that we know what's your favorite coffee stone. That's right. We love our stone community. We wish you all a very happy, healthy, calm. healthy, and uplifting holiday. That's right.